Welcome back to another G-Side Trade Tech video here. We've got behind me a 300 series GR that's been chopped by Creative Conversions and it looks absolutely unreal. All right, so starting off, we've got the tray specifically designed for the uh, Creative Conversions build here. So when they chopped the 300 series, they of course had to get everything working to factory. So They've got the blind spot monitoring system, the reverse sensors, and the camera all tucked under the tray. But what that meant for us, um, from Creative, we pretty much aired down the bag so she's sitting parallel. We got a scan and we basically made this. So starting off, got the body matching infill as always. Uh, nice little gap between the uh, cab and headboard there. Got your jumper plug access to your canopy. Uh, she's sitting all nice and flat. Just got the standard guards, but coming to probably the most obvious thing that's different is the toolboxes. So we've got these twin handles here. So the reason we got the twin handles is because this is actually a brand new box. So she's about a meter long. She's got about 32 liters of capacity, so that's huge. Um, but it's got this kind of uh, more of a, a sleek chamfer design here. So the reason that's a bit more sleek is because we actually had to raise the tray. So the tray is actually a lot higher than our standard trays on the American builds. Um, so she's sitting a lot taller and we had to make this specific toolbox, do a cutout in the little back to pretty much avoid that uh, BSM just there. So that completely clears the sensor and everything still works as per factory. So a little bit of a roadblock, but we got around that and we think we, um, we kind of smashed it with the design here. Uh, walking around obviously all the um, the uh, ADR uh, features of the car itself and the tray. So uh, looking absolutely mint. Uh, I think we kind of smashed it. With the toolbox, you're not missing out anything at all. Still got your central locking and your toolbox LEDs. So both of these are actually central locked. So yeah, not missing out anything, but you just get a nice little custom pretty much toolbox uh, for the 300 series here. Um, but coming up to the canopy, Nice little, um, nice little simple build here. Got the 40 liter Evercool there, and then just got a nice little toolbox uh, drawer style there. Uh, just pull that out. So, long cavity there, it's about 900 mil long, uh, about 350 mil tall, and I think I believe this one's about 400, 450 uh, wide. So, nice storage options there. So, whenever you pack an extra stuff or you just want stuff nice and safe and secure, you can chuck it in there. Don't have to worry about it falling over. Uh, yeah, and with your Evercool, as I always mentioned, you can set this to a freezer where you've got your Bushman up there as a fridge. That's also perfect. You've got your meats and stuff stored in there. Or if you just want that extra cheeky beer fridge, that's also perfect. Got the tour package up here. So you've got your Simarine screen as always. Um, she's sitting at the 200 amp ver uh, variation of the tour package. So just got the 200 amp BTEC back there behind the Evercool housing. Got the 60 amp AC charge, so that's 60 amps per hour when you plug it into your uh, 15 amp powered sites or if you're at home and you plug it in to your 15 amp uh, socket there, that's 60 amps flowing through your package, charging your battery uh, right up. Got your 2600 watt inverter up there as well, so that's perfect if you want some more power at your kitchen or your microwaves, um, you want to charge stuff at the same time, that's a beautiful appliance for that. Um, got the DC charger as well, that's um, just at 40 amps, so when you're driving you've got 40 amps uh, coming in through your alternator and then when your car's off and you're just sitting in the beautiful sun, the beautiful Aussie sun we got, that's just pulling in about 13 amps from the uh, Enerdrive 180 watt solar panel. So perfect little units for your tour package, you got your uh, GPOs here, got your little USBs down there. Um, your override breaker switches, so when you want to uh, manually turn stuff on and off um, or if something trips, those will turn on or off. Um, so you can pretty much control everything there. And then you just got your button fuses, so it's not a replaceable fuse. If something does uh, accidentally trip, uh, those fuses just pop out of the socket and then all you have to do is push it back into reset and away you go. So those fuses are linked up to your switch panel here. So you've got your fridge, your lights, your drawer fridge and your water pump. Uh, all nice and lined up there, easy to use. Got your extra solar in on the front here, so that's the red Anderson plug we got. And then if you want any other 12 volt appliances that you've got hooked up to an Anderson plug, you can plug it into that gray one and then you've just got an extra appliance. Got your little dimmer switch as well, so 
if you're uh, pulling up to site. It's not a problem for us because we're in the sun, but at night time it might be a tad too bright, so you do have that option of just dimming it up and down. So that's a nice little, uh, nice little feature there as well. Coming to the rear of the 300 here, so um, pretty much Creative have done everything when it comes to the factory uh, workings of the car. So the reverse sensors, blind spot monitoring, and the camera are all done by Creative, which is awesome for us. Not had to relocate a thing, so they're all just located under that bracket there. So as I was stating with that toolbox, we had to lift the, lift the whole tray up, make a custom box to avoid that blind spot monitoring system so everything works per factory. Don't have to stress about a single thing uh, about your car, basically. Um, and pretty much just coming up in the taillight bucket, got your water pump hooked up there. So you got your aqua deck uh, there. You just got your tunnel drawer in the middle, the little convenient license plate holder on the front there. Customer's not option for the stainless bench, but that's perfectly fine. It's perfectly good not to have that bench if you just want a quick solution. Uh, you're in the mud, you're in the trenches, you need some recovery gear, that's perfect for that. Or you just want your quick access to your tools and you don't really stress about having a, a little workbench there. So, got your 1.2 meter length there, got your 125 uh, mil high there. So that's, that's a nice little storage uh, unit there. Got your jerry can holder on the back. Uh, for your 20 litre jerry cans, you want your water, your diesel, whatever. Perfect little storage unit. Got your spare wheel holder there. And you'll notice that it's just tucked up behind the ladder. So with the bifold ladder, as always, you fold it down once, you can get perfect access to your rooftop tent. Fold it down twice by just um, pretty much pulling the star grip nuts out the top there. And then it just pivots on the bottom here. So as that pivots down, you pretty much have that clear access to get your spare wheel holder out. So that's perfect. And then just in the top corner, got your AC charge in, so your 15 amp powered sights, or you've got a 15 amp uh, powered socket at home. Plug it into there, and then you've got your 60 amps flowing through, and you've even got your RCD breaker on the back there for anything trips. No problem, you've just got your reset switch there. All right, coming to the passenger side, uh, same on the other side, got your toolbox, got your infill and your standard guard there. Got your uh, relocated diesel as well. So coming to the kitchen, pretty much uh, the chef's part of it. Got your um, got your fridge GPO panel there, so that's just your upright GPO panel. Got your 10 amp uh, outlets there, got your 12 volt outlets there. And then you've even got your uh, remote start inverter switch there, so you can power your inverter when you're on this side, rather than run to the other side and turn it on while you're operating your kitchen. So the 130 litre Bushman, standing tall, got heaps of storage there, so basically, any food you want to pack for your long trips has a perfect uh, solution for that. Uh, before we get to the kitchen, uh, we've got our rear GPO panel here. So that's still got your uh, 12 volt uh, socket there, but just a little bit of a different GPO than that one. It's actually a 15 amp GPO. So with that, the reason that is 15 amp GPO is because you've got your induction. So we actually changed the induction uh, to be a 15 amp appliance um, just to help operate a lot better than before. So that's just the only change when it comes to the GPO when you get a kitchen. So pulling out the kitchen, this thing is an absolute unit. So all the slides lock out, of course. So even when we're on a hill like we are right now, it doesn't slide in and out. Got your sink and your tap. So you got your little uh, tap here. It's got your own little dial there. So you can turn it on and off and you can actually plumb that up to your aqua deck at the back. So you can have your uh, 11 liters per minute or your 12 liters per minute pushing through there. And then you just got your little wash basin and you can even take that out. So that's not permanently fixed, uh, but you can keep it in the unit. And then when you're done, you can just take it out, dump the water and away you go. Got your little prep bench too. So you got your N4 finished stainless there. That's a nice little prep bench. Above here, just on gas struts. Now, nice little uh, simple like gas struts, not the strongest gas struts. So you can easily uh, take it up and down and no wind's gonna knock it down either. Got some storage in there, so your pots, your pans, your plates, everything, bowls, cups, you can fit it all. It's a nice little um, nice little compact storage unit, uh, pretty much as a one-stop shop. And then you just got your little kitchen roll holder here, so pretty much it's got its own little uh, divider, so nothing's gonna bang into it, nice and secure. And then it's just got a weighted flap at the front, so you can peek it through. And then even when the kitchen's tucked away, you can still access that kitchen roll, no bother. So you can just rip it off easily. So we'll tuck that in there. 
at the front, you've got your little uh, custom 5 volt LED. So this is actually specifically made for us at Traytech. So it's actually a little 5 volt LED because you can actually power it off your USB. So um, with your regular LEDs, you can't just whack a USB outlet on it and plug it in. So you've had to have this little custom strip made for us and it's a nice little solution when it comes to nighttime. You've got your amber up there and then you've just got a nice little bright white on the front. Or even if you lift up your lid and you're blocking that light a little bit on your induction area, you've got a nice little uh, LED there. And it even doubles as a phone holder. So when you're listening to your music or you're watching your YouTube on how to cook your spaghetti, it's right there at your leisure. So I'll pull the twin induction out. So you've got your 1500 watt uh, pretty much pot plate there and your, um, your 2000 watt uh, hot plate there. So when it comes to your inverter, pretty much have to, if you're using both of them, it becomes a balancing act of basically not maxing out one or the other, um, just because your inverter can't handle it. Um, when we deliver these, we actually deliver a handover booklet that comes with a nice little graph there, so you can um, pretty much do some maths and work it out. Got your stainless little hot plate here as well, which doubles as just a, another basic little storage unit, or even just for your, uh, pretty much your plug there. So you can actually plug in your induction and still close the lid because you've got a nice little notched out corner in the induction housing. Coming to the bottom, it's just got a huge cutlery drawer. You can basically fit your nice little cheap Kmart, little cutting boards in here, little towelettes, spatulas, the whole nine. And then you've got your uh, knives and forks and spoon holder there, nice little divider so it's not all clanking about. And then that's just on nice little push sides so that just pushes in nice and easy. And then when you're tucking her all the way, it's just a nice little simple pack up. Just pack up your uh, sink there. You fold your tap and then tuck your bench. And then on the front of the bench, you've even got a little garbage bag holder. So you could tuck a little plastic bag, hook it up, and you've got some bins. And then you've even got a, bo a little cheeky bottle opener. And we'll tuck that away. So nice and compact, stays as one unit. And um, actually, one thing I forgot to mention, you even got another little space rack on the back, so um, yeah, you want to keep your condiments, your little salt and peppers, even extra paper towel holder for up there, you can store it all away. So nice and convenient. And then just above here is a basically a new above pantry. So you've got your front storage system on there, so you've got you know, your sauces and such on the front. And then this can double, this can actually triple as a microwave holder, a um, a 12 volt uh, pie oven holder or even extra pantry storage. So if you don't get any appliance, the shelf that any appliance actually sits on, you can actually flip it upside down, bolt it up to the roof, and then you've got a nice little slimline shelf there. Put some bungee straps across and you've got some more storage. Got your uh, elongated little uh, pocket there, so your extra long tubs, that's perfect as well. And then you can still access that while you're cooking as well. So if you're you know, chucking stuff in the microwave and you're still cooking, you can easily pull that out and access your microwave and then that just all tucks away. It's such a beautiful unit, nice and compact, nice and sleek, and it's got absolutely everything that you can imagine. Um, and with your above pantry, it's actually on an energy chain. So any 240 volt appliance that you plug in there, you can actually just easily plug it in to your socket there and away you go. Or even if you've got your 12 volt socket there, you can easily just plug it in as well. It's still on that energy track and it's nice and simple. And then just coming to the side of that, uh, you've got your little holder there for the extension cable and then you've just got your big pocket, so your false floors there just to make it all nice and clean. And then you can stack your chairs, your fishing rods, anything you want and it's nice and simple. So just a perfect unit all together. Right, guys, that wraps up the video of the Creative Conversions uh, 300 series GR. So being the GR, we thought it did not deserve anything but the best from G-Side Trade Tech. So it's got the whole thing. It's got the kitchen, it's got the uh, the fridge storage, and it's got the whole rear wall set up there. So coming around and adapting to the Creative Conversions build, working around the uh, factory sensors, the blind spot monitoring system, we think we absolutely smashed it. Uh, and still keeping obviously all the best features of GCI Trade Tech. So if yourself has got a 300 series or you got some mates, uh, tag them in, share this video and uh, hopefully speak to you on the socials or even over the phone. We always love to have a chat. So check us out, even go to our website. It's up on there and uh, yeah, select all your features and we'll talk to you soon.